Brandon Lilly here at Lexington Extreme, Grove City, uh, for the Power Project and Mark Bell of Super Training. Got a question about the, the slingshot and how you can incorporate that into your training. What I do is I, I do all my work sets, uh, work up to a good heavy double or single raw, and then I'll put on the slingshot and take one to two more attempts with the slingshot going up in weight. And then what I like to do is come down, say if I work up around 500 with the, with the raw weight, and then I'll go, say, 545 and then 585 with the slingshot, come down to, say, 405 or 455 and try to do a rep burnout. Because yeah, what you're really trying to do is trying to... Uh, get your body accommodated to holding more weight at the top end and getting a little bit of support off the bottom and learning how to press through those uh, press through those weights and uh, over time what you do is you'll build up an accommodation and you'll get stronger and stronger because of the slingshot so it's really been a useful tool for me um, you know I just benched 540 Saturday uh, with, a, with a pause and a meet so um, you know that was something that was touch and go not that long ago and because of the slingshot uh, really working the explosion off my chest and through the lockout, um, I was able to do that in full meat.